Hello and welcome to another demonstration in Open Source Remote Sensing in GIS. And today I want to show you how to create a proximity raster. So proximity raster, uh, basically, it's a raster data that contains information about distances from a particular feature within a landscape. And by a popular request, I want to show you how to create this kind of data set when you have a shape file of that particular feature or in this case the river body so let me go ahead and clear this which is the final output and start over again so let's say i'm interested in creating this sort of data that shows information on the distance to uh, a river body in this case i have digitized this river right here just a section of it is the sabi river in kruger national park south africa if i check the river shape file you will see a thin line representing the river and if i inspect the attribute table of this shape file you realize that i have only one field with an attribute which i have labeled zero and you actually need to have such a field with a value of zero which sort of represent the point away from which the distances are calculated so in this case our river body will be 0 0.0 on on the metric scale and you can easily create such a field if uh, you don't have it in your data set by for instance going to the field calculator and you create a new field just fill in the details once you're done you can easily switch on the edit mode and then enter your value so now we have our starting point which is zero and the next thing is to basically convert this river uh, shape file into a raster and so if you go to the raster tab and you hover your mouse over conversion you will see uh, this uh, rasterized tool right here which is vector to raster and so the input layer will be the river shape file and the value that we want to burn into this particular raster is the value of zero which is what is contained in the id field and for the output raster size units i'm going to choose pixels here we need to set the width and the height of this uh, particular raster and this also determines the spatial resolution of the data and so usually what i do in the case of say incorporating this sort of data with other data sets such as satellite imagery or any other raster layer it's important to ensure that the scales or the spatial resolution of these different data sets are the same and so i'll basically import such an example raster covering the study area and inspect the raster properties to fetch the height and width which i will then enter here but for the purposes of demonstration i'm going to enter any arbitrary value here and again the output extent could be calculated from such a raster but in the absence of that we have our region of interest here which is a shape file that marks the boundaries of our area and so i'm going to import the output extent from that and for the no data value i'm going to assign minus 9999 which is sort of a convention uh, for no data value that's basically all the important parameters that that needs to be set and once you're done you can save the file to your disk or also leave it as a temporary file but i'm going to save it uh, here And so once the process finishes running, you can closely inspect the line and you see that a raster layer for the river has been calculated. And if we inspect the pixel value for this particular layer, then you see that it's zero right here. So the band value, it's zero. Now this is the first step to creating the proximity raster. Now we have a baseline, which is 0 0.0 for the river and the next thing is to utilize the proximity to or proximity raster to from zaga 
to create this sort of data set you can search here for that tool and you will see a number of them actually so gdal offers an option which is raster distance and saga also have an option and i prefer to uh, use the saga one because it's it has a simple interface very intuitive and easy to work with now this particular tool takes as an input a raster layer and so here we put in the raster layer we just created for our river which if you remember has the starting point of zero and by the way the distances that are being calculated here depends on the projection of your data set so if you're working in a utm projection you can be sure that the output raster will have units in metric scale so meters for example and if it's anything else then you might have distances in degrees or decimal degrees and so on so once you make sure of this you just input that raster here and the output from this tool is actually a number of data sets so you could have the distances which we are interested in the direction to which the distances to the river are calculated so it's usually a perpendicular distance and allocation and here i'm only interested in the raster distance so i'm going to save just that to file and yeah that's all i'm interested in so i am going to leave the rest as temporary files and click on run the process actually takes a bit of time so um, it will take a few minutes to get this done process is complete and all the data sets have been generated but again uh, we are interested in the distance so you can see this for example is the direction from which the distances were calculated let me uncheck that this is the final output that we want i will um, go ahead to style it a bit just to be able to better appreciate the data so yeah this is how it looks so you can see from the color ramp that distance is ranging from zero all the way to as much as the area allows and so yeah the main river runs through the middle point zero and distances away from the river increases accordingly that is a proximity raster thank you for watching subscribe and i will see you in the next one